Come on. Patterson, a member of the IFL Pit Bulls. And round one is underway. A scheduled three-rounder, four-minute round. Patterson is in the red. Well, he doesn't want to make it a wrestling match, but he's dove in right for a double leg takedown, Jens. Sometimes they say they want to do some standing up, and then the deer missile misses them, and we go on the ground where it's comfortable. Well, one thing they know, the fighters like us, we all get to read the press clippings and all the advanced notes. Yeah, maybe that was a little bit of uh, pre-fight histrionics to get into Alex's head and make him think he was going to do something he wasn't. Well, he's stepped back with a perfect combination right there, and how Alex is feeling right now, he's going to have to clear the cobwebs, but that was an amazing thought process right there, to have him pinned against the corner and to push his way back and land that combination. That could have been a fight ender right there. You could've see been. the quickness of Patterson there, the quickness and how tough he is inside, that comes probably from years as well, of being an outstanding football player at Colgate, and once again, uh, Showdown trying to give him the, the stiff arm and push him off. Patterson has been extremely accurate with his punches so far, but shonow has got a great chin. Shonow has a great chin, but Patterson right now, is he is doing a great job of showing you an MMA fighter, an yes. MMA fighter that he is becoming. This kid is doing everything right now, and he's doing it pretty dang well. And again, he is scoring in this ground and pound technique. Patterson is really proud of that black belt he got under Henzo Gracie, so I think once he passes the guard of Schonauer, he's going to go for a submission of some kind. He's going to want to probably try and get him out position, although he seems pretty content to ground a pound here. And he hasn't wasted many punches here, Jess. No, he's been pretty much calculated and accurate with everything he's throwing. He's doing a good job. He's not wasting punches, passing the guard. He's passing the guard. He's been in key spots throwing his punches right now, which is good. He's doing effective punching. Some ground and pounders like to just kind of just start wailing from every position that they're in. Use your punches, set it up, pass the guard, get into an effective area, and then start striking. Like, if he can get his head free right here, believe he's going to strike again if he can't get this guillotine. I think he's trying to make a statement here. It's not all about jujitsu. He won his first match with a choke, although there he goes, looking for that guillotine, maybe. It's the wrong position to land the guillotine so far. No, he's got oh, it. He's, he's got it. Showdown may be in trouble here. Showdown is in trouble. And he taps out. And Hoboken, New Jersey's Jamal Patterson. Before family and friends and a home crowd here at the Trump Taj Mahal has picked up the victory. Jamal Patterson dominated that fight from beginning to end. He did everything right. It was textbook. That was an MMA fighter right there. I mean, that was... He stepped in from the word go like somebody had angered him, and he threw down. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. It was two minutes, 32 seconds into the bout. The winner by way of a guillotine choke, Jamal Patterson.